We are on our way over to Out of Survivor. Oh my god, people are gonna think the only thing we ever eat is this restaurant. It's in like half of our videos. Jamie had this idea. She has to do a business thing coming up and her nails are not done. And she says, could I just go without her and leave her at the nail salon and pick her up on my way back through? Yeah. And I'm like, Jamie, what if your nails are done and you're not? She goes, I'll walk to Walmart. And so then I said, okay, so what's gonna happen if you end up getting kidnapped? And I have to explain to the police that, oh yeah, I just left her at the nail salon. No one's gonna believe me. It's gonna be fine. They're not gonna believe me though. I asked for it. Okay, so now y'all heard it from the horse's mouth. She asked me to leave her at the nail salon. This is the strangest thing. She's walking to get her nails done. Guys, she's not. It's right behind this building here. This this white building over here is on the other side of it. She's gonna take the sidewalk and go over, and I feel so weird. I says, I can drive you over. She goes, no, because it's gonna take forever to leave here and turn that way, then find a way to turn in, then go back that way. Yeah, it's just a long story. But uh, this was her voluntarily wanting to walk to the nail salon while I go to I'm a Survivor. Listen, no one would ever believe me. If something were to happen to her, no one would ever believe me. Or they would say I was a terrible man. Only a terrible man would let your partner walk off like that down a busy city street. Look, she's already made the turn. She's already made the turn. She's Now she's in the parking lot to the nail salon. And so now I'm like, y'all are all my witnesses and alibis. So... <laughs> You're my alibi. If something was to happen, you are my alibi. How crazy is that? That the world that we live in, you got to always think about, do I have an alibi? Do I have an alibi for just in case scenario? And I do. And it's you. Okay. Okay. All is good. I got a picture. Picture proof that Jamie made it. And pictures are time stamped. Does everyone else worry about stuff like this or is it just me? Seriously, does everyone else worry about what would happen to you just in case? And like, who would they point the fingers at? I don't want people pointing their fingers at me if something happened to Jamie or vice versa. <laughs> so I am standing here with Mr. Ed and I'm tell you what, how blessed I am. He and his son just finished doing all the hay. How many rolls we get out of this thing? 26. 26, y'all. And listen, I feel bad because I said 15. I thought I was gonna, I was gonna pull an ad and try to guesstimate how much. And I'm glad I was wrong because 26 is a lot better than 15. Uh, a lot of folks wanna know how you're feeling. They knew right you. Right now, I've been taking these cancer treatments for uh -huh. two years. Okay. And as of last three months, okay. I've got off all that cancer medicine and I'm flatlined. Man, so flatline in this one, this is a good flatline. Flatline means it's stopped. Oh, that's perfect. It ain't moving. Okay. And I did a PET scan about two weeks ago and they're going to tell me if if, if it's went anywhere. But okay. Right now, I, I got offered the, the two big medications yeah. they had me on, which was over $10,000 a month. Ooh. I quit taking them because they had one of them with a steroid and yeah. made my bone quit. Oh. I broke my rib just leaning over. Oh, again. so that's not good. Doc said, oh, no, we ain't supposed to do that. No. We got off all that, and now it's been three months. So how are, how, how are you feeling overall? Excellent. You feel good then. Yeah. That's good to hear, Ed. That's so good to hear. I'm doing good. Man, that's a that's I'm a getting pleasure. old and weak. Hey, that's all. <laughs> We're all there. We're all there. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Ed. You're welcome. I didn't think you could
Hold on a minute. Who sent the goldfish again? Um, I'm pretty sure. It might have been the goldfish. It might have been something else. What? Who? Who? Uh, Teresa Ulanhake. <laughs> what? Teresa Ulanhake. Teresa Ulanhake. Ulanhake. Yeah. Teresa Ulanhake. That's something Americans do. Ulanhake. Americans have a bad tendency that when they see an E at the end of the word, they, they pronounce it E, like a Migliori or Fettuccine. All I know is I actually talked to Teresa. She sent me a voice text, and it said, Eulenhake. Oh. Eulenhake. That was cute, though. Eulenhake. Oh Have you ever seen anything more ridiculous than what I'm watching right here? What's his name? Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, and he's hey, hey. laying like a baby in your arms. He's my baby. <laughs> Let me get closer. That's so silly looking, man. So he cute. almost looks like it's not real. Yeah. He does. He almost looks like he's not real laying there. He's so though. Oh, Lord. My oh, my goodness. I am sitting here in the truck just uh, thanking God for Mr. Ed. You know, if it wasn't for Mr. Ed, we wouldn't be able to have anyone come bail this uh, hay for us. Ed normally, uh, well, most of these guys that um, do hay for a living, they only work with large fields. They don't mess around with small fields like this. Um, I'm just going to say it the way it is. Fields like this don't make Ed much money. They're not really worth the time, the diesel, the wear and tear on his equipment. And so Ed and most other hay men, and guys, listen, we've had a lot of hay men over the years, but uh, Ed is the one that has stuck with us. And uh, he comes out two, three times a year and does this for us. And uh, we're really blessed. And so I'm, you know, whenever I ask Ed about his health, I, I have a concern as a human being of how, you know, a long time family friend is doing. But I also know that Whenever Ed gets to the point where he no longer wants to do this and he's ready to call, you know, hang it, hang, hang it up, then uh, we are going to be in a world of hurt because uh, there's a this is a beautiful pasture and uh, it can normally produce some really good grass, and some great hay, but it's not a big, you know, it's not a big enough pasture to make it worth most people's time. All right, so Ben is a using my drone for very horrible purposes can you, can you zoom in? he is huh can you zoom in on what we're flying spying on like on, on the on the screen can you zoom uh in? no you can't zoom from there oh sorry man okay. okay i'm just noticing donkey dan and imogene hanging out along the looking at the beautiful lake our pond and uh donkey dan's enjoying the day it's a nice day it's always nice when your donkeys are happy and enjoying themselves. Danny! Danny! I'm a... Tell Danny to put it away. Danny, put it away! <laughs> this is so fun. It is fun. I yeah. love drone flying. It's a... Oh, this is the land we just had cleared. Yeah. So weird saying that. Hopefully the grass grows it soon. It is, I know. Now okay. we're probably going to have a year before the grass grows. Yeah. Look at that. It's like a wasteland. Yeah. Like a war zone. Oh, God. I'm so I can get a little lower. I wouldn't go too low. We don't want to risk it. I'm only going to go like drop a couple feet. Okay. So today, Ben is learning a brand new farm skill. And, well, thanks, Ben. It's okay. All right, raise your bucket and raise your back and raise the ab. Uh, bush hog. This is not an easy job. All right, now look. Easy. You want these to go under here. So you make to tilt a little bit. Tilt it the other way. More. Okay. All right, raise it. Now tilt it back. Man, look at you. Hold on a second, I'm gonna lock it. Hold on. Man, 
man, how does that feel your first time? No. It feels like the first time. You know that song? Yeah. Sing it. It feels like the very first time. Oh my gosh. Never... I know what you're probably saying. Or what you're asking. You're saying, Lester, why do you have Ben moving the hay? Well, let me tell you why Ben's moving the hay. Because Ben, Ben had, had a financial need. A financial need on top of what we already pay him as a salary. Uh, and his financial need is because he got a speeding ticket. <laughs> oh, I look horrible. Yeah, Ben got himself a speeding ticket right here in Plum Grove. And um, he had to pay that ticket. So he had to come to Uncle Lester and ask for money. And I says, I'll loan you the money, but you're going to work it off. And today he's going to work it off. All right. So Ben knows how to drive the tractor. He's done almost all tractor jobs, but he's never done hay. Okay, hold on a minute. All right, go into your other gear like I told you about. Medium. I'm going to get off. Okay, so you have to level your spears out. Use this over here as your guide. Now just put those spears right into the hay. All the way in. Okay, now you gotta... There's 28 rolls of hay out here. This is about an hour, maybe an hour and a half job. And what we will do, once we get the hay stacked alongside this pecan tree, we'll have Jake and my dad with their tractors, maybe even Uncle Dan after work come by, and we will all take turns uh, grabbing a roll at a time and moving them inside the barn. Lower, lower the hay until it touches the ground, all the way. Now, simply back up now. Okay? And you'll put the next roll right beside that one. So I'm gonna get off. So when you're done, look, they'll all be lined up across there. Got it? All right, so I think we call it uh, teach one, show one, do one. All right. And so I taught them how to do it. I just now showed him how to do it. And now we're gonna watch him actually do it on his own. I'm nowhere near him. All uh, right, he has to balance out his spear. Balance your spear. Balance your, his spear straight up and down. Oh my God. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh no. I love that boy. Oh no. Okay, see that. There you go. Do that. You have to have that spear balanced or it's going to tip that roll of hay over there he goes a little bit off the ground raise it higher buddy raise it higher he can't hear me y'all know he can't hear me <laughs> oh my goodness see i don't know why he backed up he could have just went straight forward i'm going to ask him why he backed up you only got to back up when you're dropping hay off to get it out from underneath you all right let's see the drop off here let's see the drop off The dismount, let's see the dismount. Uh, where's he going? Okay, hey, he's having a little fun. Oh, Lord. Okay, guys, bear with him. All right, drop it all the way down. Now back out, now back out. No, why is he going forward? <laughs> oh, Lord. He's gonna tear my roll of hay up. There's a learning curve, okay? There's a learning curve. That's good enough. Good enough. All right, Ben will not leave the roll of hay alone. And I says, what's wrong? He goes, he cannot stand to see it like that. And so, you know, I'm the same way, right? It's like some kind of a, some, it's like an OCD. It's called OCD. Ben cannot stand to have the hay like that. Well, you gotta straighten it up then. So he's gonna have to re-spear it again and then line it up that's funny that he has that ocd stuff because i am the exact same way and uh anyway no ben got a speeding ticket and he has to pay it oh my gosh and so he asked his uncle for the money and i says you know what you can work it off 
and I said, you can either come to Longhorn Lester's and help me with some fencing, or you can go pick up all of this, all these rolls of hay. <laughs> and uh, he chose to do the rolls of hay to save driving, which is fine. Um, funny thing though, is that um, I will not let him stack the hay. I do not, I wanna stack it in the barn myself. All right, so let's back up and come in straight again, son. Just back up and start. There you go. Just realign and come in straight. So all I would tell him to do right now, if I was able to talk to him, is to keep his um, the throttle a little bit higher. You want to make sure you have plenty of RPMs for this. And so your your RPM should be right there around 2,000, between two and 3,000 on a job. I don't know why he's going so far up. I don't. I didn't show him that way. That's something that he's doing on his own, and I don't get it. But whatever. Oh, Lord. It's like he's parallel parking them. Ben is like parallel parking hay. Troubles fester, come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.